And now, CBS 6 Sports, sponsored by your local upstate Chevy dealers. Hey everyone, let's talk sports. I'm Sam Israel. Well, what a turnout it was for the Albany Firebird season opener. After a year with chaos with Antonio Brown and the Albany Empire, arena football is back in the capital region. The Firebirds facing off against the Orlando Predators. NVP Arena was rocking with fans flocking to see those Firebirds in action. But Orlando came out on a mission. They scored two touchdowns to start the game. One of them captured just inches away from our camera. But the Firebirds couldn't be contained for long. Jake Medlock throwing a dot to Darius Prince and Albany's on the board. Now for the play of the night, Markel Wade off a punt return. Look at him go, juking out some Predators. He returns that punt all the way home. Firebirds with some great plays and a great comeback as well. Firebirds win their season opener in overtime with a final score of 62 to 59. They'll be back in action at MVP Arena on Thursday. Now on to some Siena men's lacrosse playoff action. The Saints journey to the MAC championship starts with their I-87 rival, Marist. Marist has the edge in all-time matchups at 22 and 21. The Red Foxes winning nine straight against the Saints as well. Siena down 3-6 late into the second, but they showed signs of life. McCarthy aims, fires, bullseye. Now down 4-6, and now it's Radomski's turn. Now they are down just one. Will it be Travis Fry? Will he be the guy to get it in? Yes, he is. But it was Will Adele who would be the guy in the third to give Siena their first lead. And they would not look back from there. They extend their lead to two in the fourth and pull away. Siena upsetting Maris 12 to 9. And next, the Saints will have a tough test against number one seed Sacred Heart. That game is set for this Thursday. Albany men's lacrosse with a chance to clinch the top seed in the playoffs. The Great Danes take it on Binghamton. This one neck and neck early on until around the second quarter. Graydon Hogg getting it to go. Game tied. Albany now up one. Daniel Kesselring behind the net. Check out this reverse shot. Danes extending the lead. And this one here was the nail in the coffin. Jake Pacino from distance. Great Danes clinch the top seed and also clinch a regular season championship. They beat Binghamton, your final 18 to 10. Adirondack Thunder trying to even up the series against Maine, but this one didn't come easy. They were down two goals in the third period, but Adirondack kept their heads down and they scored four, yes, four goals in that final period, including a Broman empty netter. Thunder successfully come back in the game and even this series at two apiece. The series will remain in Maine and that will continue tomorrow at 3 p.m. Guys? Yes, I'm a big day at MVP Arena today and tomorrow yeah. you have the Firewolves in the first ever home playoff game. It's the Firebirds and the Firewolves. I know, it's, it's a <laughs> Easy lot. Easy to of get confused. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Uh, an exciting uh, weekend, of course, in Albany we, all weekend yeah. long and, and it seems like the weather's cooperating for some of the block parties like we saw tonight and, and tomorrow too. Yeah, I think we'll have uh, a fair amount of dry time tomorrow but we will see the risk of showers uh, later in the afternoon and into the evening. But